Hi everyone, welcome to Understand the Bible with me, Phil Saker. Now I want to introduce you today to Church with Understand the Bible. This is something that I've been working on for a few months and you may have seen some of that on the YouTube channel or on the website. But it's something which I think is now ready for me to, to announce to everyone on the YouTube channel and encourage you to, to use and to, to think about. So first of all, let me explain what Church with Understand the Bible is and what the vision is behind it. So let me take you back to lockdown and to COVID, those dark days. Now, remember in the lockdowns, a lot of churches uh, closed their doors. That was, uh, you know, churches had to close and we started meeting at home and churches adopted different sort of solutions for that. In our church that we were uh, part of at the time, then they um, started doing services on YouTube. So people would pre-record, you know, the sermon, the, um, you know, the, the readings, the prayers and so on would pre-record it all and then it would get uploaded to YouTube and there'd maybe be a live stream bit at the end. Just a, a bit of interaction. But basically it was a pre-recorded service and it was all something that you, you watched from your living room and you could maybe leave a message for other people you know if it was premiered or, or what have you you could chat with other people but the idea behind those services was kind of you would sit on your in your living room and you would just consume you know you wouldn't really participate you would just kind of consume the service and watch now what my idea for a church will understand the bible is i started thinking well you know church at, uh, at home is real church now, the early churches that we know about from the Bible, they used to meet in people's homes. Now, that was the way that it was done before church buildings started to be built. You know, you would just meet in a home where there was enough space. And if there wasn't enough space in, in one home, they would have two. You know, that the, they'd start a church in another home. And, and that was how it was. You know, Christians just used to meet wherever there was space available. There were no buildings. There were no rotors. There were no... You know, there was none of the, the kind of trappings of church which have grown up over the, the years. And, you know, it was just about people, Christians, getting together to worship God, to look at the scriptures, to, to hear from him, to pray, to praise, all of those things. But just simple, no, simple. Getting back to basics. And that's what I think if I had to put in a nutshell the message that God wants us to hear as a church right now in the 21st century i think it is this get back to basics get back to worshiping god get back to reading the bible hearing his word just it, you know doesn't you don't have to have any of the stuff you don't have to have church buildings you don't have to have you know any of that other stuff you just need to worship me and and learn learn from the bible learn all of those things and worship together so my idea for Church with Understand the Bible was rather than providing a service which you could just sit on your, you know, your armchair and just watch. It's actually a service which, you know, yes, different parts of the service are provided, but you actually have to participate in. And my idea as well is not that you do it just by yourself, but that you invite some friends around. You know, if you've got people who want to worship God, you get them all into your living room on a Sunday morning and you just go through the service together. You know, you say the, the confession together, you say the psalm together uh, and so on and so forth. So that's my idea behind Church Will Understand the Bible. It's to, to do church at home or church wherever you are, but not in the way that we did uh, during COVID. Not to give you something that you just passively consume but something that you actually participate in and which is a kind of genuine church in wherever you are. So let me take you through what a service actually looks like. So over the last few weeks, I've been developing a, a sort of app, if you like. Um, it's basically a web page which can be used as an app as well. So I'll, I'll show you show you what it looks like here. If you go to understandthebible.uk forward slash service, this is what you will be uh, greeted with. You can look at this on mobile. You can look at this on your computer. So it's it's really, it can be used anywhere. And actually, you can install it as a an app on your phone, um, iPhone or Android. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. 
So let me take you through what the service is like. Uh, so this is the service that we had last week, the 3rd of September. Started out with a song. Now if you click on the song or you tap on the song if you're on your phone, you will see it, it, it expands and there's a video there. This is a song called Behold Our God and it's got the YouTube video right there. And what you can do is you can, if you click play, it will play the video for you and you'll be able to, to have the song as part of your, your worship. Now if you're with other people, obviously playing a song on your phone is probably not going to be ideal. So what you could do is you could, um, um, and this is what we do in our church uh, that meets in our home, is we put up Church Will Understand the Bible on a laptop and then connect the laptop to the uh, to the TV screen so that the songs and, and everything on video is actually is big and can be, you know, comes over the bigger speakers and, you know, people can hear it. So that's what you can do. That's the beauty of, of video. You can have it on, on a phone, you can have it on a bigger, on your TV as well. A lot of smart TVs will do that now, for example. Um, so that's what that's what that's what the service will begin with. We'll begin with a song, you know. And what we do is we just kind of sing it as if we're in church. Like I know we are church, but you know we just sing it as you know in the traditional way. You just sing the song, sit down, stand up, whatever you want, just sing the song. And then uh, we say a psalm together. And here I've got Psalm 46, and um, it's got there. It is all there. And we just say that all together. And that's what I'll do every week as part of Church Will Understand the Bible. Just include a psalm for people to say. Because I think the psalms are so important. You know, They are the Bible's hymn book. They're the Bible's prayer book. Uh, it's what we need to, to be saying. And um, I think it's so important to be embedded uh, in the psalms. So we've got a psalm there. And then after the psalm, there's a confession. Now this is actually a confession that I wrote uh, specially for Church Will Understand the Bible. And that is partly because I wanted to avoid copyright issues, of course. Um, so uh, what we do, again, we say the confession together. If you're from the Anglican uh, tradition, then you'll you know, be familiar with saying a confession together. Um, these are just... Um, you know, something in Anglican churches which is just done, it's par for the course, saying the confession. And then the, the bit in italics is just for, you know, for, well, usually the, the priest would say it, but, um, you know, it, it's not, it, it, any Christian can say those words. It's not something which is reserved just for a kind of particular priestly class. Um, it's just a prayer to say, you know, God promises to forgive everyone and please give us the power to live in, in your ways. So that is... That's that, what, what that is about. And uh, someone can, can say that prayer. Now then, I've got a catechism spot. Um, if you don't know what a catechism is, um, and I appreciate that it's quite an unfamiliar word, I've got a whole page on the uh, Church Will Understand the Bible website about how you do this. But the idea is just that you find a catechism which works for you. Um, the New City Catechism, for example, it comes with an app. You know, you just look at look that up, look at the, the Bible verses and you just chat about it um, you know, with the people that you're with. Now, that's all it is. Just really, really simple. Doesn't have to be anything complicated at all. But that's that's what I mean about things which you participate in. You know, this is something for you to do. Um, just find a catechism, look at the question and answer, look up the Bible verses. If there's any notes, any explanation, you can read those just chat about it and see what you what you discover, what you think about it with, with the other people with you. OK, so then there's another song um, and this is actually a children's song. And the reason that I do a, a children's song here is because in our church, the catechism spot, we use a kind of child friendly one, which is kind of like our Sunday school, if you like. Um, it's actually a book which um, I will. Um, oh, actually, I can show you. It's this book here, The Big Book of Question and Answers by Sinclair Ferguson. And it's a very good book. And uh, we use that for our catechism. And um, I, I kind of try and tie the song in with that. Of course, you you know, um, we'll be in a different place to you. But I'll, I'll just try and include a child-friendly song here. And it doesn't really matter 
if it you know doesn't link in with what you did you can always substitute the song for a one of your own choosing if you want to um so after that then there's a uh, i've got the bible reading which is what the sermon is on and i've got the sermon now i usually actually include the Bible reading as part of the sermon because I think it, it, it makes sense but the text of the Bible is there if you want to look at it if you want to follow along so if you're you're watching the sermon then you can follow along and you can um, you know uh, look at the look at the bits of the Bible there you don't have to leave the the, the, the app okay and um, after the sermon there's another song there we go. After that, there's prayers. And what I've started doing is um, I hope that you'll pray. You know, you can feel free to use whatever prayers you like. Use prayer books, use anything, um, you know, write some prayers, do them, you know, um, extempore, as it were, you know, just kind of come up with them on the spur of the moment. It's all fine. What I just I've started to do is to write a little prayer every week, just maybe to get you started. And maybe you could have that and the Lord's Prayer if you wanted, um, just to kind of get your prayers going. And in due course, I might write some more prayers. Um, but, you know, that that's kind of the, 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 the idea behind that. Then after the prayers, there's a final song. And um, here we go. And then that's it. That's the end of the service. So as you can see, it's uh, it's a fairly simple and straightforward service. And I hope that... I've explained all of the different elements to you. It's really easy to use. Like I said, you can either get it on a phone or you can get it on a like a tablet or on a laptop. So, you know, it's very flexible. Whatever you've got available, you can use. And especially if you can put it up on a screen. Let me just show you. Actually, there were just a couple of other bits which I didn't show you, which I, I just remembered I should. Um, if you tap on the menu um you can i mean you can change the font size you know not that um yeah that's just standard um, you can also change the bible version if you want to so um the bible versions here um there are different options they're, they're actually different languages this is all provided by somewhere on the internet but what i tend to use is the bsb that's the berean standard bible which is quite a good i think quite a good bible for um, you know, um, modern English. And it's it's the best thing about it is it's free and open source. Um, so, you know, you don't have to pay a license fee to use it. That is the reason why you won't find some of the Bibles in there that you're more familiar with, like the NIV or the ESV. Those are, you know, required require licenses to, to use, which I don't have. Um, but I think that the BSB is actually, and I've been using it the past few weeks uh, on here, and it's pretty good. So I don't see any problem with using that at all. Um, it may just not be totally familiar to you. But there's also the King James version if you use the, the King James um, the other thing is you can share. So you can share it by email, by message, by text, by WhatsApp, or you can just copy the link. Now, the reason I've included that is because if you're meeting together and you want to share the service with the other people in your group, you could just have a WhatsApp group and you could just click on the WhatsApp share button, share it with them and they can open it up and they've all got the the order of service on their phones as well using the same um, bible version and, and what have you and that's really handy if you're meeting together you know you can just whatsapp the the link through to other people and they'll be able to open it up and you'll all be on the same page so actually you could if you have the words up on the screen you also could have everyone looking at the the words from their own phone as well if they wanted to or own uh, device so that's the beauty and the, of the flexibility of church will understand the bible you know you can have it on your own device or you can have it on a on, on a, a screen or sort of a mix of both the final thing i wanted to mention is just mentioning it when it says connect with others this is just um a link really to the uh forums on uh understand the bible on the website um i know that forums are a little bit old-fashioned and if you're not familiar with them then they um they're kind of a bit uh maybe a bit strange 
But actually, I still think, you know, having been involved with forums for a very long time, that forums are the best kind of thing on the internet just for connecting people and for, for discussion. And I think Facebook groups are a poor man substitute for internet forums. So I decided to to create a, an internet forum. And you can, if you, particularly if you are looking for other people who use Church with Understand the Bible in your area, register an account, create an account, go on to the Church with Understand the Bible page. There's nothing there at the moment, but there, there will be. And uh, just you can just go and, and say, I'm looking for people in this. I live in, you know, whichever part of the country you live in, whichever town. Is there anyone here who, who lives in that part of the world? And uh, you can connect with other people. That's the idea behind it. So, yeah, all in all, I hope that this is uh, something that you can really use for your uh, for your church. You know, you could do it at home kind of in addition to going to a traditional church. Or you could use this as your as your church, if you like, if there aren't any um, good churches near you or or whatever it may be. You know, the, the, the content, the sort of the sermon is provided by Church with Understand the Bible. The catechism is provided by whoever you, you know, whatever you choose to use. And the fellowship is just you meeting together to worship God. And that's all that that's all that it is. So I hope that that's given you a flavour of what Church Will Understand the Bible is, how you can use it. Before we finish, I'd just like to mention that you can install it as a as a sort of app on your phone. And uh, I think rather than showing you how to do that, I'll just explain and I'll put a link down below. Uh, if you open up the description, I'll post a link as to how to install it uh, on your on your phone or your, your mobile device, whether you're on Apple or Android, because it's a little bit different for both. So thanks everyone for, for watching and engaging. Do let me know your comments, your questions. Do check out the Understand the Bible website. And I hope to see you again uh, for Church Will Understand the Bible and for other things very soon. In the meantime, God bless.